And an overdose of fentanyl and other drugs that led to the death of a Manhattan fashion designer has now been declared a homicide. Investigators believe it could be connected to a string of similar robberies targeting people in bars. CBS 2's Ali Bauman has been following this disturbing trend. 35-year-old Katie Gallagher was living her dream as a fashion designer, dressing stars such as Lady Gaga and Laverne Cox, and showcasing her clothes in Vogue and Glamour magazines. But her trajectory came to a tragic stop last July when Gallagher was found dead in her Lower East Side apartment. A toxicology report found fentanyl and other drugs in Gallagher's system. Now, nearly eight months later, the medical examiner has ruled her death to be a homicide after an attempted drug-facilitated theft. They are out there preying on innocent people who are going out to just enjoy a night out on the town. The NYPD is investigating a string of similar cases across Manhattan. Police sources tell us there are believed to be multiple crews running similar schemes, targeting and drugging victims in Manhattan bars before robbing them. My concern is that as we go on, that the reality is there are many more deaths that have come from these groups, from this very thing. Linda Clary lost her son, John Umberger, last year. His death, as well as 25-year-old Julio Ramirez's, were also declared homicides earlier this month. Authorities believe both men died after they were drugged and robbed in Hell's Kitchen bars. What are we doing to stop this from continuing to happen? We don't want anyone to hurt like we are hurting because it's so unnecessary. In a statement, Katie Gallagher's family told us when we think about the callous disregard for her life and all that she would have done or could have done had this not happened, our hearts break all over again. On the Lower East Side, Allie Bauman, CBS2 News.